Hello Keepers and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, where in this episode, hopefully, very much hopefully, we are going to be taking care of a few quests that have been lingering for quite some time. Now, do we have anything particular that we need to break down? Now, if I click on the, apparently, if I click on the portrait, ah, there we are. Look at that. How glorious is that? If we click on this, then we can see all of the things. Well, we don't have any of the things that are necessary to make these right now. But you can see all of the things that you would need to actually uh, make that item. So, for example, or that would fit that role. So I could click on these, for example, rather than having to cycle through them and cycle through all the ones that I don't have. That is so useful. Thank you so much for the tip on that one. Now then, we've got a couple of things going around out here. Let's uh, drop a few of them off and just make sure everything is done and done. There we are. Now, do I need anything in particular for going down to cloth? You know what? I don't think I do. So I'm going to grab... Yes, we're going to grab a... Uh, excellent fishing rod and a bunch of maggots. Let's grab 30 maggots. That way, we can do a little bit of fishing whilst we're in the swamp. In fact, you know what, just in case, as I don't particularly know what we're going to catch, let's take a little bit of all of them. Uh, and we'll also use this as a bit of an, uh, of an investigation, I guess, into what types of fish we can catch in the swamp. I believe we've already seen the ones that we can catch, but it doesn't hurt to just poke around a little bit more and find out properly, does it? No, no, no. Right, is there anything I'd like to drop off in here? I don't believe there is, but it doesn't hurt to check. Nope, nothing we need to drop off there. Very well, moving on then. Now, this is rather nice down here. Yes, it is. Let's uh, drop you off. Uh, can I use anything? Uh, I can use a butterfly. Can I use anything else? I can use a pumpkin. Sure. We'll find out what the pumpkins make. Uh, I think I've used both of these, though. Anything else? Uh, sure, I'll use one of the, the maggots on over there, just to keep things on the move constantly. And then we will drop these items off here. Then grab this corpse. I'm going to pop it on the pallet. Uh, well, actually, there's not too much reason to pop it on the pallet, specifically right now, simply because uh, we're not going to get to Clotho before she shuts up shop, basically. Um, what day is it? Uh, still the same sort of day, but we're gonna go with the heart. For no particular reason. It, it's purely random, from what I understand. So, you may as well go, oh, wow. You had a particularly good heart. Bless you. Well, I may as well take the brain now, because the only way we're gonna make this into a good corpse is if we, uh, are lucky. No, we're not. I removed both of the good parts of you. Wow. That is not ideal. I'll be honest. Bit of a shame. But very well, I guess we're going to be uh, extracting an awful lot from you then, aren't we? Yes, we are. We're going to be extracting almost all of you, in fact. Um, notice that we're not getting any any uh, mistakes right now. In before, famous last words. Ah, there we go. We've got a, a, a two corpse. Uh, sure, that's good enough. We'll, we'll send you on in something of a reasonable shape. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's drop these off for now. Right, that's good enough. Okay, thank you very much, Comrade Donkey. Have I uh, dropped off enough billet duck down here? I have not. Well, we could wander on to Clotho straight away. That is tempting to do. Alternatively, I could go and get the billet ready to burn the corpse. And that might be a, a nice thing to do ahead of us uh, going to see Clotho. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. I can't help but think of Disenchanted every time I say Clotho's name. It's like the elf names. Shocko, Returno, etc, etc. Clotho's made of cloth, clearly. Wouldn't put it past the witch. Okay. No, come on. There we are. And up we go. Right, with that done, the plan following visiting Clotho is, of course, to go and visit the uh, the astrologer, and hopefully 
get the acid quest sorted out. There we go. Nope. There we are. We need all of those done. Into billet, please. I do believe we've already got two billet down there. So that'll be enough to set up the funeral pyre for one corpse. And that'll be fine. Now, with all of these apples, I wonder... Perhaps we should entirely start... I have had uh, suggestions that we should now basically use our apples for pails of apple juice and then eventually make that into uh, cider. I mean, it seems like a good, a good uh, solution to the overflowing amount of apples that we've got so far. Do we actually need berries? We only really need them for cake. And we've got... Well, I don't know. Do we care for cake anymore? Uh, it's an interesting one because it requires so many components to make when beer might be just so much better. I don't know. I don't know. Because apples make themselves, really. They don't require any further work on my part. Uh, now, lots of people were asking, is there anything down here? We'll have a look. We'll have a look. If, if there's any way we can go, uh, I'll perhaps swing by on the way back from Clotho's and see. Now, it looks like we're only going to have a very brief amount of time to check what we can fish down here now, unfortunately. I had hoped to use the knight for it, but, oh well, getting a, an extra extra corpse for the pirates it's, it's worth it, I think. Worth spending the time on. Hello, Clotho. Uh, I brought you a pumpkin. Great, soup is the perfect dish. You just wait until all your teeth fall out, then you'll know. Uh, okay. Cabbage soup, pumpkin soup, and vegetable soup. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Uh, I need your help. I need to help the merchant. Just put salt and health solution together. Thank you. I will. Right. Now then. Uh, what can I buy? I can buy all the frogs. Which I will. Drink. Thank you. Uh, I can also buy a rather large amount of acid. There we are. One acid, please, as well. Then, a decent amount of trees. Uh, see, the problem here is I wouldn't be left with very many, very much money. Yeah, all right. I'll take that, because I can sell enough of other things to get uh, back what I need. Now, to go to the area where we can fish, I need to swing around. Now, I don't want to take too much time doing this. By midday, I really want to be... Well, I suppose we can wait until much later, but uh, around midday is when I, I need to be thinking about teleporting back home. Then we'll use the cellar to get to Haradric's place. And then from Haradric's place, we will go on to the lighthouse. So from the dead horse to the lighthouse, in more or less that... Uh, order. Right. Oh, it would have been better coming from the other direction, it seems. This was the long way. Damn it, it's been a while since I've come down here to fish. I do apologize. Oh well, uh, it's midday. It, we should have enough time to just test the waters. Right, so start fishing. What have we got? Have we got anything? There we are, butterfly. Yes. Uh, so, let's find out what you are. I guess this is all we're going to need then. I just need to find out what's in these two locations, and that's all I'm going to find. There we go. Hello. Are you a frog? Probably. Yep. Okay, that's one frog. And then over here as well. I do like the fishing in this game. I really do. I, except for my... Oh, you might not be a frog. That was a bit of a big jump there. What did I just get? A uh, tilapia. Hmm. Can I get the tilapia with anything else? No bait at all with this rod will get me one of these two. Whereas a moth or a butterfly uh, or maggots really will get me the same. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, we'll see. We'll try and get a. Uh, we'll try and get an eel because they can be cut up reasonably well and we can sell her at the at the lighthouse on the way just to make sure that we've got a little bit of extra cash to purchase uh whatever i require uh, mainly i, I just want to pick up a uh, a um a book so head over to sweet home 
drop off the frogs. Uh, I'm not going to be able to drop them off there, unfortunately. Very well. Drop them off over here instead. Uh, can't drop all of them off. Much sad. Uh, well, I need to take you. So you're coming with. Uh, I guess I could drop off a couple of things. Well, I'm going to be dropping off all the fish in a moment anyway. Uh, so that's fine as well. Uh, baked salmon. Do I have actually any big, more baked salmon I can bring? Um, I wouldn't mind bringing the royal fish, honestly. But I guess I'll have to wait. Let's go and quickly drop off all of this. So, all of my fishing supplies. It was good to find out what I could catch, if nothing else. And on the way back through, now we'll pick up the, the salmon. There we are. Right, off we go. <sighs> right, we're not going to be bringing along loads of wine this time, simply because I don't think it would help us. Yeah, we, we, we might not even make it at this rate. We dilly dallied a little bit too long. Ah, that'll be quite the shame, because now I've got the acid. I was really hoping that we'd be able to get that quest finished, but faffed around a little bit too long, unfortunately. I don't think we can wait to uh, speak with Radric. We'll have to do that on the way back. If we can get to the astrologer in time, it's going to be a miracle at this point. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, there are worse things that could have happened. What on earth went on there, though? What on earth is the story of that little area? On oh, astrologer. Come on. We can make it. We can make it. I believe. I believe. Oh, it's cutting it fine, though. The moment we're past that little, that little uh, sort of beigey color is when the astrologer is going to make his move. Are we going to get there in time? So we can open the, the chat. Ha! Got you! Here's the acid. Here's the acid. I think there should be more than enough. Mm, seems that I have everything I need to get these pages apart. Just a moment, young man. A bit of acid. The young are always in a hurry. But when you, where are you going? There's nothing up ahead. Gently pull these papers apart. Almost. <laughs> I've still got it. Let's read what it says. Here we have three parts of the barrel. A necklace with a sapphire, a golden angel, and an endless notebook. <laughs> Snake has an endless notebook. That's true, actually, it does. Hmm, I believe I know where to get a necklace and a golden angel. When I was... Wait a second. There's something else on this page. With my friend near the lighthouse, I should tell him Esmeralda is pregnant. His child. I think I'm going to have a stroke right now. I have a child! I may have a child. Amazing. Just unbelievable. What about the necklace and... You were talking about a necklace and the golden angel. Yes, yes. It's all connected. How strange. I might have a child. Of course, by now he or she must be around 25. But still. We were talking about a necklace. Dude, come on. The guy just learned how learned he has a child. Man. Young man, you must help me. You must. Yes, yes. I know exactly where you can find the golden angel. I'll tell you everything. Just help me find out what happened to Esmeralda and her child. Our child. Fine, I'll help. How did these people manage things before? Oh, well. Let's think where to start. Esmeralda arrived here with a gypsy caravan through the northern pass. They can't leave because the pass collapsed. I hear that they still have a small camp near the mountain fort north of the village. You should go there and talk with her brother. He should be the Gypsy Baron now, after his father's death. Alright. Well, that's interesting. The Gypsy Baron does have a little bit more stuff to do then. Uh, I'd like to trade if I can. Uh, I'm gonna do it, am I? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Trade. Need some stuff. That'll do. Thank you. Trade, 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 trade. Oof. Just in the nick of time. Thank you. All right, this brings us up to a hundred uh, blue science points. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep calling them faith points. I'm sorry, but uh, right. Well, we can start getting some of the the nicer faith objects there. The printing press now. Paper production using uh, paper glop 
is particularly useful for me because I don't make it out of human skin. Whereas I know lots of other people make it out of human skin and that's that's good for them, but not really useful for me. Jewelry table. Ah, now then. There's lots of things to do. Uh, create a prayer for accents. You know how to complex mechanisms work. All the details of your work are top quality. Even your carving and jewelry look cleaner. Maybe. That might be the right one, right one to go for. Uh, marble repair kit. Mason stones are your passions. Your stone carving is really good. Also, you're so efficient that you get an additional piece of stone from a big rock. You know how to deal with wood. Circular saws are more productive in your hands. Also, very nice. Carved piece of uh, marble. Jeweler. You have a nose for gems, so you'll find them more often. Also, you know how to make really nice jewellery. Uh, you're a true miner. You can find precious metals and ores more often, but it's still a matter of luck and energy. Uh, gathering diamond would be nice. Maybe... Hearing the prayer for excellence would be good as well. It's all a bit complicated, really, to know which one to go for. I think, ultimately, I would like to get the porcelain funeral urns. That being said, incense would be nice to top up the uh, the church a little more, maybe. Ah, look at these, though. Stone prayer station and blue lanterns. Uh, sorry, blue pl blueprint lantern, not blue lanterns. That would be interesting, mind you. Um... No, let's hold on to it, because I would actually really like to get the confessional for now. Uh, that being said... Is that the same thing? It is the same prayer, yeah. Well, I mean, if I got both of these, I'd be able to make better books, I guess. That would pan out a little bit better for me right now, because my jewellery, I think, affects the books. Alright, I'll grab this one, because that's, a, that's the least expensive. I've convinced myself. And furthermore, I could then gather diamonds if I really, really wanted to. Or I can go for a couple of items here. Uh, we can't really work with marble yet, so let's get the stone sculptures. Because we can then further study those for additional faith. That seems like the best solution to me. So that's the one we're going to go for. May as well grab these mushrooms on the way. Only the ones I pass, though. There's no particular reason for me to, to forage much around here. Now, with that done, we will be able to use our silver pumpkins that we've got to start setting up some uh, Halloween decorations in the uh, sacrificial cellar. <sighs> I like pumpkin carving. It's not long before I'm going to be carving plenty of pumpkins uh, for this old house even. Okay. I'm glad I'm going to be back from TwitchCon for that, because I would really hate to miss that. But I may miss some of the uh, nicer events that I like, like the torch, like Procession and the uh, Enchanted Forest. Uh, right, big salmon, all yours. Also, this. There we are. Not too bad. I mean, you got a decent chunk of big salmon, but uh, it should be okay. Now, you're going to use only a couple of these every now and then so it's going to take an age for you to work through all of that and that is quite quite sad i could just make lots of different meals to sell to you to, in order to uh let you gradually work through all of your uh, your uh, items but we'll see now i really desperately need to get uh, the stonework repaired before we have our sermon Break everything. You utter scallywag, Yorick. Utter, utter scallywag. Actually, I've got uh, a few items to drop off. I couldn't sell the royal fish, but then I think that's something just for the merchant, really. So we'll drop that up there. We'll go down, we'll plant the trees. We will stow the mushrooms. And I will get to work. Actually, I'll leave the silver pumpkins down here for now. Just out of the way. Right, let's uh, drop off these mushrooms then. Mushrooms dropped off. And also the fish dropped off. 
All right, let's get the trees out of my inventory as well. Oh, there's plenty of apples to collect. Uh, I'm going to need peat and sticks. Oh, well, I guess I can just grab the peat while I'm here. And grab the sticks as well. But while I'm up over here, how does one make the repair kits? Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Do I make them over here? It's possible. Nope, 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 nope. There's wooden repair kits. Well, do I make them here? No. Hmm. Where does one make stone repair kits then? That is troubling. Quite troubling. Uh, maybe I, I missed it. Let me have another look through. Is this something that I could only make in one building? Oh no, I, it was right there all along. Ah, I'm such a dick. Okay, well, let's quickly get these laid down and then go and grab ourselves a fair old chunk of clay. Don't have much time to play with this, so I'm going to go and do that as a very high priority. There, sh there may be a path on there, but I don't see it. Unfortunately, but we're gonna spend a little bit of time just harvesting clay so that we can get as much of the the damage that Yorick did undone. We'll use a, a full uh, amount of stamina doing this. Maybe even a, a a bottle of wines with a stamina beside that as well, or until my shovel breaks, I guess. <sighs> I can only imagine that uh, the keeper's hands, with all of this wood chopping and all of this shoveling, and all of this pickaxing and hammering, without gloves, has got some pretty calloused hands by now. Sign of a hard worker. How much clay are we going to get off a single bar of stamina? I mean, I could have also had the uh, hard work. Um, food. Though I think that only affects pickaxes and axes, so I'm not sure that would have helped. But wow, this is awesome. Well, uh, 61 is good enough, I think. Let's restore our energy. Oh, we're going to need quite a, quite a bit, though. Thankfully, almost all of our um, graves are, in fact, uh, stone. So that shouldn't be an issue for us. All right, we'll go and drop off the um, fish. I think I will have berry bushes. I just want to have many, many of them. Uh, we need to drop off. No, we don't want to drop off the salt. That's not what we're going to drop off. No, no, no. Right, let's go and get uh, this done. There we go. Let's just go ahead and do... Wow, that's a lot of repair kits. But then again, we do use more than uh, one purse. So I'm going to make a hundred stone repair kits. There we are. Get to work. We'll get that with just 25... Bits of effort, that's fine. Okay, not too bad. We'll be able to do this all and get everything repaired before the day. Yeah, we, we should do. We should do, based on the progress we're making so far. I wonder how much they stack to, though. I didn't really check that. I guess we'll find out in a moment, I suppose. But uh, Okay, that's going to be an interesting one. I would very much like to see the, the marble... Um, or however you pronounce it. I, I have no idea about that word. I really don't. I'll grab a few seconds of sleep as well before we get over to the, uh, the church, if I can. Psychic crafting! Go! Yes! Come on. More psychic crafting. Thank you. And we can drop off what remains of all of this. There we are. We can't actually carry that much. Interesting. Uh, drop these off. Thank you. Can I grab the rest? Yes, I can. Marvellous. Uh, we'll go ahead quickly and drop the... Um, oh. Oops. Sorry about that. That is my alarm to let me know that I have just 30 minutes before my weekly game of Stars Without Numbers kicks off. Game by Dapplings, for Dapplings, from Dapplings, technically. I guess it is technically from Dapplin, since the only people playing it are Dapplin, so yeah, it works. Uh, no, no, no. Well, no, no, no. We have not got enough time to play around with that. I need to really get a move on. 
We might not even manage everything before night time. Uh, we'll see. Uh, let's grab all the candles, grab our prey. I am going to have to pop outside quickly. Uh, but let's start loading up the candles while we're here. One. Two. I guess it doesn't actually matter so much if we just get the sermon going. When I think about it. Simply because... Um, that is not a requisite for the bishop, so nah, I don't think we're going to manage it in time. That's a shame, but we can have everything ready. Uh, it also gives us a little bit more time to prepare the candles, actually. I'd like to say some words. Three in, in particular. Our church great. Hopefully this episode great also. There we go. Ah. That's right. That's right. Keep it coming. Come on. Come on. Come on, Faith Dozer. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. So good. Your donations are welcome. Now, if we can move pretty sharpish, we might just be able to get the uh, churchyard up to snuff before the bishop leaves. Uh, let's get you repaired, fix quickly. Come on. Don't leave. Don't you dare go. Uh, next, this one. Sure. Go. Oh, that one would be, be a better one to choose because it's much larger. Um, decoration, but I don't know if this one is contributing quite as much. If it does, then we can make a move. Yes! Go! Go, 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 go! Hello! Could the graveyard be any better? Well, yes, it could. This graveyard is indeed well maintained. I can see all of the love you've put into it. Have you had any problems with the Inquisition? Ghosts? Witches? I've had some problems. You know, that was a silly question. You're not in an Inquisition cell, so everything must be alright. Mm, you know, Maybe we won't need another ship of the dead. All this talk about ghosts seems like fairy tale stuff to me. Then the money could go to the church, not that stupid shipyard. Mm, very interesting. Oh, I, I really hope that if it was a joke to start with, which I'm not entirely sold on, that they consider adding this as an expansion to the game, because I would love to see all the content you could do in the in the the town. So about the cathedral. Ah, okay, so three gold star marble statues. Very well. Um, sure, I'll buy all of them. No, I won't. I'll buy as many of them as I can. Thirteen will do. Just, you know, to pull up your, uh, your level a little bit more. And with that, we can go around and just repair everything. Marvelous times. Though, we are going to need to repair, to sort out all of these... These horrible people in the graves. Now, a lot of people said, well, why? What did you expect? You haven't been exhuming the corpses and doing all of this and that and that and this. I said, well, okay, yeah, I, 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 I see what you're saying there. But Yorick was always complaining about the new guys. So I came to what I feel is a reasonable conclusion that Yorick was specifically complaining about new corpses. The thing was, is I wasn't putting any new corpses in there that were bad. All of the corpses that I was putting in there were good. Uh, oh well. Silly Yorick. Silly Yorick. Now, we've got a lot of faith. Um, let me get some of this shifted over first. So, health extract, good. That's what we need. Let's get all of that uh, popped in there. Let's see about a little bit of sciencing, shall we? I think we should. Right, let's get you guys scienced. Let's take a fair old chunk. Thank you, but gives quite a lot back as well, you know. To be fair. And now you. And then we can go and make some new items. Get even more faith back. Ah, good times. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. We'll uh, science you as well. That actually doesn't need faith. That just is pure science. Uh, same probably for all of the alchemy stuff, really, when you think about it. That's actually pretty good. That's very good. Uh, gold. Sure, let's study you. And we can grind you down into a powder, which we will almost certainly do. Uh, next up. 
Okay, yeah, we'll take two faith, but it means I don't need to just store them down here anymore. Uh, mind you, I do want to get a couple more things for storage anyway, if I'm perfectly honest. There we are, thank you. And now we start on all of the uh, the tools. And then we're pretty much done. I, I don't need to do this. I could just use it for faith. I know, I know. And there is a certain part of me that's like, yeah, this is super inefficient with my uh, energy and time. But I just like kind of being complete about things. It, it, that's all it is. I just prefer to be as complete as I can be. Uh, right, so with that done, we don't need these here. We can take those up top. I can drop off these stories. We've now got three gold stories. Oh, happiest of days. Huh. Maybe we should have a prayer for a writing prayer. That might be a worthwhile one. Right, let's get you down. Give us a nice big boost there. And then you as well. A little bit of overkill, but I don't mind. There we are. Look at that. 210 already. I approve. Uh, sure, let's uh, let's move some... Oh, sorry. Let's move some of uh, the wood across for now. Rather than worry about too much else. But before I forget... Let's go and just check on one or two, or possibly three, more things. So I'm going to drop that there for now. As everyone is desperate for me to check out a potential path down from here, unfortunately there really isn't one. It just doesn't exist. Um, I imagine you were thinking about that. Unless I am mistaking something, there really isn't anything else around here. And it is a shame, but it is just the way it is. I will grab this stone while I'm here, though. No particular reason not to. And also some extra sticks. There we are. Let's grab these ones as well. Okay, that's uh, pretty good. Now then, we can have the face that we've got used for cremation and porcelain funeral urns. We could then move on a little bit, or I could look at writing and the simple printing press and then the complex printing press. I just don't think they're particularly necessary right now. Instead, I think... We don't have enough of that. I could go for the amazing swords. Or the ability to just full-on make jewellery now. Um... There's a lot of things that would be quite nice here. It's a bit difficult to know which one to go for, but I think it's going to be g gathering diamonds simply because I don't already... Well, no, actually, we're going to unlock marble quarrying because we need the marble statues. It's something we actually need for our quest line, so that makes the most sense to unlock right now. Oh, yeah. And with that, once we get back to base, we're going to be going to sleep. I'll take this little bit of leftover faith and I'll leave it with my stone cutting. Oh, can't break that down. So we need to speak with the Gypsy Baron in the next episode uh, to see about Esmeralda. And from there... Where are you? There we go. Uh, from there, we can then... Hopefully progress the uh, the astrologer's quest a little bit further, since we've already done a few jobs for the well, well one job for the Gypsy Baron. I'm hopeful that it's not going to be something that else that we need to worry about. Uh, let's drop you off here. Ah, oh, damn it! I've still got loads of things on me. Oh well, very frustrating, but uh, we'll live with it. We have everything we need to set up the um, alchemy benches that I want to make which I'm extremely excited about. Because once we've got that, we can complete the merchant's quest. Oh, wow, I really had a lot of things that I meant to drop off in the church. What a dirt. Uh, well. It's not the worst thing that could have happened, but that is going to be it for me for now. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you're looking forward to the next, where we're going to be checking out some things with the Gypsy Baron and also getting into alchemy proper. Now, I'm very excited for that. But that is it from me. So until then, and as always... Do take care, everyone. Still bloody Yorick.